Might as well. I'm here. I mean, this time I ever play Phantom Brave on Nintendo Switch. I've never heard of Phantom Brave in my life. I mean, this looks neat because it's like Nisa, so it's good. I've never heard of it before, but I mean, maybe I have. I'm not very bright. Phantom Brave and Soul Nomad, 2021. NIS Classics Volume 1, featuring Phantom Brave and Soul Nomad. Coming to Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. They want to send that to a friend. We're almost at the finish, but the fun's not over yet. Almost at the finish? A hint of what's in store with these upcoming releases. Yo, Fishing Fighters! Our type final. Yeah, you didn't miss much, honestly. I, I've been watching it, and it's about to end. <laughs> they announced uh, Silver 2425 for uh, the Switch in Summer, the English release of it. Um, Disgaea 6 comes out in June. Or July, I think it is. One of the two. Um, two old... Nice games are getting um, ported. Stone Nomad and Phantom Brave. This looks like Etrian and Odyssey. Nothing about our system works now. Uh, not that I saw. I mean, if they are going to show something this year, then it's going to be after this. That game's not even getting a PS5 release. We've got one more incredible announcement coming your way from our friends at Inti Creates. Inti. Inti Creates and Sunsoft present the final piece of a trilogy. Oh, Gunvolt. No, this is, um... A metal attacker oh my god, what's the game called again? Why can I not remember it? The side view and top-down action is more intense than ever before. Blaster Master, yeah. Uh, it's not an NES. Well, yes and no. Um, the original one was, yeah, but they've been doing like a reboot series of it, and people really love it. That looks so good. The pinnacle of mutant blasting action is here. Blaster Master Zero Three. Zero Three? You can just call it three. The Jason Saga comes to its epic conclusion. Oh yeah, because Blaster Master Zero is the name of the reboot series. That's it. That's a funny name, though. Thank you for watching the second ever New Game Plus Expo. That really it? We're thankful to the teams that worked hard to put this presentation together, and for gamers like you who inspire us to do what we do. So I gotta find something else to do now. Don't forget to stick around for the post showcase stream and follow us on social media. Visit the new Game Plus Expo website at NGP. Our system works is at 130p. When's that for me? One second here. Without further ado, let's get into the stream. Fall Guys is dead. Six. Six o'clock for me, I think. Are they gonna say it again? 
When is that? That's in like 15 minutes, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, nothing's gonna happen there for a while, and I honestly don't really care, because Inti's just gonna be... Uh, talking about Gunvolt or showing off Blaster Master 3, which I mean, I actually do want to play those games. Um, the only one I really care about is Arxis, because there's a lot of games that that could be. These are games... I'm gonna read the chat for a bit here, let's see. These are games I love, I don't want Western influences on them. What are you talking about? I wonder if Keiji Inafune is going to be there. Thank you, Conman Inafune. Arxis post-stream announce Among Us fighting game. What the hell was this? <laughs> Who is Elton Ring? <laughs> Who is Elton Ring? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's not even that funny. Elton Ring. <laughs> That's the game you end on. Oh no. Bro, Last Master's cool. Shut up. Oh my god, oh my god, don't care. Give me Blaster Master 02. Where was Koei Tecmo? They were in there. Here, I'll go back and watch from the very, very beginning of it, because we did miss a little bit, and it's so short that it doesn't even matter. Yes, 9, I think that is, yeah. That looks interesting. Call out shelter. Just like a, a Tom game, right? Don't play Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon isn't Harvest Moon. There's a reason why all the new Harvest Moon games suck. This is just Etrian Odyssey. It's Suda! Soda. 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 He's clapping for himself. Oh my god, Sudo, that background, calm down. あの、とにかく新しいことをしようということで、本当にいろんな映像表現もチャレンジしました。
I've wanted to play the Silver Case for a while, but I didn't want to um, play it on PC because visual novels on PC isn't like the most uh, fun experience. So I'm glad that the two four two five is getting ported. I mean, we knew it was coming to Switch, but that was only in Japan. But you know. Yeah, Silver Case still looks really good today. Uh, but it's just because the artist for all of the like older Suda games is just really good. It's like the same thing as um, uh, Kaneko for Shin Megami Tensei. Music in the background is really good. I love the soundtrack for Silvercase. Killer 7 looks great, yeah. Yeah. New scenarios for the Switch remaster? Oh god, I know someone who's gonna start crying about this. I know someone who's gonna have a stroke over that. I know someone who thinks that Suda's only good game was Silver Case and 25th Ward. And he believes that everything after No More Heroes is a garbage game, and it shows that Suda is a hack. And he also doesn't like Killer7. He's insane. I love the music. あ、すいません、皆さんに一つ言わせるようなことがあります。え、去年のNGPX約束したマリオデッセイ Dive into a dark world of mystery and intrigue with the Silver Case 2425. Experience Suda51's take on classic crime thrillers with this two-in-one collection. Coming to Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. I'll be getting that specifically. A great thank you to Suda51 for jumpstarting the second ever New Game Plus Expo. A presentation of exciting announcements and updates from video game publishers around the world. With a wide range of games to explore, you won't want to miss all that's coming up. Stay tuned for more after the showcase for the new Game Plus Expo live stream with gameplay demos and special guests from participating partners. What is Arxis even going to show? Third star looks really nice. For the Strive Director, so it's probably going to be a Strive Story trailer. 
Fair. They'll announce the secret 16th character, Bridget. Mary Skelter? The Mary Skelter trilogy reaches its stunning conclusion on PS4 and Nintendo Switch this fall. I've never heard of this in my life. London, New Year's Eve 1999. While everyone else is getting ready to party, the Metropolitan Police are working overtime. Me? Let's just say I'm waiting for some fireworks of my own. Oh shit! What is this with Fallen Aces? Okay, let's just go London. Be part of the door kicking, gang busting crime fighting team and take on gun runners and crime lords in Rico, London. There are no guns in London. Yo, is this Doom Eternal? <laughs> I'm joking, but this actually looks kind of cool. Explore an abandoned spaceship as you fight off unforgiving hordes of aliens in this- Now this is a PS5 game! ...fast-paced first-person shooter. Exophobia launches October 5th for all consoles. Oh, okay, they did show something. I saw no one posting about it, so I didn't know. I kind of like what Strive is going for. Kind of like a slower, less combo-focused game. Every hit's big. More focus on neutral, right? Um, I don't like a couple of mechanics. I'm not a fan of wall breaks. That's kind of... Eh. Um, but they're not, like, the worst thing. Wall breaks are just kind of a mechanic that are really good against some people and suck against others. Like, if you're playing against the zoner and you wall break, well, good job. You are screwed. You have to get back in now. I can do all of this in real life. Oh, uh, wall breaking is as far as I know, if you are doing a combo in the corner and you press the heavy button, um, you will basically break the wall, go to a different part of the stage like the well, not like that. The animation's like that. Um, and then I believe you get a buff. So you end the combo early, or I guess you end the combo with it, and you get uh, bonus, but you're, it's like teching a throw, right? So if someone tries to throw you and you press the button when they do, you get put to like kind of a neutral position. That same thing happens when you wall break. Oh yeah, I forgot that it got delayed. That's whatever though. As long as the game is good, I don't care if I delay it. What?
Hey, Okino? Wait, I've, I've seen this game before. This game is rad, yeah. This is the weirdest thing to get a modern day release, but I like this game. Um, I couldn't tell you. Let's see. I'm gonna go with it being a remaster, but... That's me. Yeah, I wish Gatlings existed. Like, in the traditional sense. Reshrines, so it's yeah, it's like a remake. When this new title hits in the fall of 2021. Ah, yeah. How about that? We're only about a third of the way into the presentation, but the height is at a hundred. So it seems like there was more. I just started so late, I didn't get to see any of it. The anti thing starts in a couple of seconds here, so once that does, and once I finish what I haven't watched, I'll um, skip to that. This is a neat little game. Live your life on the colorful Wimba Island in this relaxing RPG. Manage your farm, tame wild jellies, meet villagers, and uncover the secrets of the island. This sounds really cute, actually. I like this. First on Xbox. Alchemic Jelly, or Alchemic Cutie. Gnosia looks interesting. I know the joke is going to be, haha, when the Gnosia is sus or whatever, but it, it's, it looks cool. I like the idea of like a werewolf visual novel. I guess Mafia, Blue Guru, you know what I mean. Who do you think is sus? Yeah, a werewolf game set in a spaceship. I'm glad that people do actually call it werewolf, because when I played it, I played it in uh, class, and we didn't call it um, werewolf, we called it Lugru, because that's werewolf in French. Test your social deduction skills against the cast. Shit, that comes out tomorrow. Today. Will you be able to identify the Gnosia among them, or will you? Among them? Experience a unique narrative. I can't do this anymore, man. Everything's among us. Stop. Available now on Nintendo Switch. When the Gnosia is sus. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't care about that. Put it in Switch. Are these games on Switch? Take a fishing break. Let's go. If it was a good morning, I'd be fishing. Oh, 
These games always seem neat. The game industry goddesses make their PS5 debut this June. That's it. If you had gone down the right path, World's End Club. I'm actually excited for this game. May have changed. When does it come out again? We've been kidnapped by some kind of crazy so find out. Psycho. We need to get above ground. The name's Pielope. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. <laughs> Well, the reason why it's explicitly not Danganronpa is because it's by the creators of Danganronpa. Or, well, it's by the creators of Zero Escape, which was the original Danganronpa. So, I thought it was a Spike Chun game, but it's not. It's Nice. But yeah, anyways, it's by the Zero Escape creator. Um, which... Is Dian Ropa, except it came before, and you're stupid for calling it Dian Ropa, and I'm gonna kill you. This is Astral Chain. Oh my god, speaking of Astral Chain, I need to play that game again. I need to, like, finish Astral Chain. Should I stream Astral Chain? Do I even have it downloaded? I don't think so. Bit that makes us like, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the whole thing of that game, or whole thing of World Ends Club, is that it's not actually a death game, right? world somewhere between reality and imagination. You need to use your observation. Oh, should I actually did install Astro Chain? So maybe I can stream that after all this. Because I need to do something. Dark secrets she has buried. Whenever forward launches June 29th for all consoles. Um, but. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I know it's Uchi Koshi, and I know Uchi Koshi is a really good writer, so I it'll probably be good. <laughs> Nintendogs? Let's go, Nintendogs 2! New Nintendogs! Can't take this shit no more, man. Become a veterinarian and ten dogs three die harder. Friends in this new simulation game, pups and purrs and done. done here. Pouncing location was the devolved. Ah, the twentieth century. A quaint time when you could hire a simple moving van to transport your goods. Well, not anymore. Here in the twenty third century, we drive big honking tanks across New Pangea. Intrigue? Welcome to your onboarding for the Fat Cat Shipping Company. Now I won't lie to you. The No More Heroes 2 mini game, but a full game. It's even harder to do both of those things while firing weaponry at our competitors. That's why our best drivers are handsomely rewarded by me, dashing industrialist and proud capitalist Phineas Fat Cat the Fifteen. You'll be like that guy. To our company's most sophisticated vehicles, and you'll need them as you drive across scorched deserts, lush forests, he looks and icy cute. tundras. It's a vast world out there, and I sincerely doubt you'll ever have the same journey twice. Though difficult to master, the job is ultimately simple. Connect all of the tank's conveyor belts. Then, craft your ammunition by following the blueprint. Finally, enjoy the simple pleasure of watching your ammo roll down the conveyor belt to be fired at unsuspecting enemies. Congratulations, you've destroyed our competition and made me... This actually looks pretty neat. Process. I like this concept. You destroy rival tanks in the company of friends? Be my guest. You can crush our competition with up to four other drivers at once. Quite frankly... There are some jobs so tough, you'll probably need the help. For instance, not every neighborhood is pleased to see tanks roll through. Some locals, like those testy broccoli chaps, might try and stop you. Do what you must to make sure our profits are safe. Life as a new courier for Phineas Fat Cat the 15th in New Pangea won't be easy. Luckily for you, you'll have a mammoth-sized tank when you go out on deliveries. Look for Connect Tank this summer. Wait, why do I know this style? 
This. What the hell is this game? Agriculturalize your dungeon. This reminds me a lot of that new game that, um... Oh my god, why can't I remember his name? Deadly Premonitions Director is doing. The Good Life. He follows me on Twitter, I should know his name. Query. Um, okay. So instead of running at 7 FPS, it runs at 17 now. It's really funny because Deadly Premonition 1 and 2 are amazing games. It's just that both of them are very hard to actually play. One, because it's Deadly Premonition. Two, because it doesn't actually, like, have a frame rate. This game's art style is very unique, I like it. Dungeon Agriculturalization Roguelike. Sealed and Pule. the developers of an organ harvesting game comes the Dungeon Agriculturalization Roguelike, the Sealed and Pule, launching this March. Agriculturalize your dungeon to nurture and harvest the materials you need. So you can head deeper into the dungeon to repeat the process. Oh no, that's exactly what I'm saying. This dungeon nurturing game, Both of them are amazing games. It's just they don't play well. That was fantastic. Like, Let's keep it they're the kinds of games the where game. you're better off watching like a playthrough of them. It's the same thing I did with Illbleed. <laughs> Even though I'm just like this, I am the president. <laughs> We had no plans for a foreign release here and thought it would sell outside of Japan. Disgaea is the game with the big numbers, correct. That is the main draw of Disgaea. Yeah, Disgaea would not be alive without the foreign fans. NIS is already doing really bad financially, so... There were a lot of theories that the reason why the Disgaea gacha game just was vaporware was because they didn't have the money for it. And I believe it. And that sucks, because, like... This guy is really good. I love the Disgaea games. Yeah, that's a pretty dude. I like that little pretty in the background. June 29th. If they're gonna announce Brave Phantom now, then I can skip to the NT stuff. That's Pro ZD. Oh yeah, Etna, Flan, and Laharl are back. The Sky of Five had Laharl. I don't think it had Etna. Archie, it probably did have Etna, but you had to do like a mission to get her. Rosalind is good. Girl, the Harl. Aren't pretty horrible criminals who were shoved into penguin bodies as punishment? Yes. Yes, they are. They all are. They also explode when you throw them. It's really funny. Oh, they're all included in game at launch. Strategy RPG I love the main character's voice. I think his name is Dead. In the throat, with Disgaea 6, Defiance of Destiny. Have you never played a Disgaea game Nintendo before, uh, Jonas? These games are amazing. They're, like, I, you probably like them. Con Man and Ifune, he's here! Gunvolt 3, yeah. I'm excited for Gunvolt 3. 
I think it's really funny that everyone from loving Kaiji and Infinite is just like hating him. I think it is funny though because Infinite is like he's still good at what he does. It's just wow, you really screwed up with my number nine. Like, colossally screwed up. Biggest Kickstarter failure I can think of. え、始めました。発売の方は I love the Gunfall games so much. I think one like one very um, cool thing about just I guess the Mega Man gameplay loop in general is that after the anti games or I guess the Mega Man anti games, they just went on and kept making more of them. Like they just never stopped making Mega Man games, and they're all really good. The new game is Gunvolt Burst, right? The Switch one? Because Burst is really good too. Striker Gunvolt 3. Fates are sealed as paradigms shift and the new era unfolds. Beyond the path toward hope lies. They also did the uh, Bloodstained 2D Castlevania game. And D is just really good at capturing the old kind of NES SNES style. Oh, wait, it's pull him. Pull him off the screen. Oh, full screen it. Oh, there we go. Yomi Wakusahana. Become an undernot. Yomi Wasakuhana. The labyrinth of a colossal structure. Battle to save the city in this epic 3D dungeon RPG. Coming this fall to all platforms. What is this game? Order on mine. Happening. If you don't come back, we'll never forgive you. Don't give up, Sheena. Oh, <laughs> Shrek and miss. Now we'll meet your mission. Here. You can. What does the end of the world mean? 
Wake up. Death End Request. Death End Request for Nintendo Switch now with limited run games and wishlisted at the IFI online. Limited run game. Speaking of limited run games, weren't they hinting something last night? Like, they said something about, like, the next game is someone who isn't athletic but scores a lot. People thought that they meant Travis. Can't wait for new excellent. <laughs> I'm looking at one of the servers that I'm in, and one of my friends saw the reveal for Silver Case 2425 and said, Can't wait for excellent new interactive game project from famous computer software developer Heinz57. Yeah, it's a which game character is not an athlete but always scores. Guess we'll find out tomorrow. That sounds like Travis to me, but. Death End Request is just one of them, I'm gonna assume. And then Xseed Games replied to that tweet. So yeah, it's definitely got something to do with No More Heroes. Because I don't think Xseed publishes Death End Request. Powerful beings who travel between worlds. Mystical encounters await in Dairoku Agents of Sakura. No, they got nothing to do with it. This fall for Nintendo Switch. I thought Marvel's would localize No More Heroes 3, not Xseed. Um, I don't think Xseed has anything to do with No More Heroes 3, but I think Limited Run Games does games that already exist. They don't do new games. Well, okay, Death End Request, but they normally don't. So, if Limited Run Games were to do anything No More Heroes related, it would end up being with uh, No More Heroes 1 and 2. This is just, it draws a red box. and goals mixes arcade style soccer with beat em up gameplay that results in pure fun releasing august 31st for all consoles do it dude do it dude okay this is what i started with so after this one i'm gonna just skip forward I've been for this, dude. it's just they're porting phantom grave and Soul Nomad. They look cool. I'm gonna probably pick them up if I'm like looking for something new to play because they're old and they're good. Good evening, all you wonderful folks around the world. Welcome to the NGPX. The screen screen sucks. Right this hat's disappearing. Create headquarters in beautiful Chiba, Japan. I am your host, Inti Creates producer and localization director, Matt Papa. And it is an absolute delight to be with all of you guys here today. Thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with us here. It's an honor. It's a true, true honor to be the top batters of the lineup for the NGPX live streams. And we are here live- Not a whole lot going on here though, is there? Two in the morning. That's right. It is 2 a.m. here in Japan. Well, we love you guys so much that we're pulling in all- What is Death End Request? Is it good? And we got some awesome stuff to show you guys today. 
I, I am just in collaboration with Corpse crazy. Party scenario writer Makoto Kiryu, this horror RPG follows Mai Toyama's search for his sister in a quiet I lakeside town. Go out. I want to know what y'all thought of the. That's two. What about one? Three development update. And two has mixed reviews. One has good reviews. The reveal of Blaster Master Zero Three coming July 29th, twenty ninth, twenty. It seems like it's a. Visual novel slash RPG about games, so like game development and stuff, fam, which is kind of neat. I like that idea. Out there. I know you guys have been waiting patiently, and it's it's been an absolute pleasure to bring this to you guys today. Now, since we have some time here today, we got an hour with you guys. And so, everyone in the spirit of wanting to make... An hour? Hey, yo, I am not watching this for an hour. Possibly could. I have some special guests here with me that are going to be joining me in this very seat right here. So, to kick things off, you know, we'll, we'll, I see here, you know, let's do it in the order of which we showed off the stuff for uh, NGPX. So, I want to kick this stream off with some Azure Striker Gun Vault goodness. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And there is no one better to showcase said Azure Striker Gun Vault goodness than the brand new action director Kaji Inafune in the flesh, Mr. Hiroki Miyazawa. Let's welcome Miyazawa san to the stream. I was gonna say it was Miyazaki, but I wasn't sure. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, so good morning for all you guys in North I don't speak Japanese. Uh, Europe, hello. <laughs> a nice hello to you. So as you saw from okay. the NGPX review, Just show me the game. Okay. two characters? Yeah, so this is actually the ROM that we, uh, the last event we were able to have in Japan uh, back in June. Yeah, a couple months ago we had an event called uh, Digital Game Expo here in Japan where we first showcased this ROM uh, here live in Japan for the first time and now we are bringing it to you here. So, Okay, yeah, so we're gonna we got the two stages up here. We're gonna start with the one above. The, the the these are not final English names. I know the local edition director, but don't quote me just yet. Uh, like a Christmassy town. I love when games do double number subtitles. Because I'm here looking at um, what got like announced, and someone's like, uh, I can't believe they call it Blaster Master 03. I think it's a silly name. I think it's fun. Like, it's cool. I don't care. Like, Mega Man 03. Street Fighter uh, 03. Although, Street Fighter got better for it. Whenever Street Fighter did a sequel after, like, Alpha. I think Alpha. So she's got um, it would just be like, what? It was Street Fighter Three: three New Generation, Street Fighter Two, uh, or Street Fighter Three: Second Impact, and Street Fighter Three: Third Strike. So they gave it a subtitle instead of going with it. She, Mobile Suit Gundam <laughs> Extreme Versus <laughs> Maxi Boost <laughs> On. Isn't there a new game that actually adds more? So as you can see, you know, she can just go up and straight up attack. Come on, Chuck says the cool game was. I could have sworn that they added or they they made a new or they announced a new Maxi Boost or I guess. Gundam vs. What? What is the name of the game? Don't tell me it's called Versus Two X Boost. Okay, yeah. So I mean, as you saw, you know, of course you. Can oh my God! It is. The bad guys and just slash them with your sword and do your thing. <laughs> Obviously, counter attack and you'll be more susceptible to damage. But if you throw these talisman here, now did you see that? Did you see that? If you notice, yeah. So did you see that? When you throw the talisman at the enemy, it actually makes them weaker. So you, it, you uh, yeah, but wasn't uh, Maxi Boost on as well? We'll probably get it at some point. Oh shit, don't open PSO2. Did I misclick on it? No, 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 
So this man. <laughs> yeah, so one of the other uses of those talisman is that when you throw them at an enemy and it has, you know, that red circle around them, as long as it has that circle on, you will not take damage from being smacked into from enemies. However, however, I'm off today. You can, of course, still take damage you know, from, from bullets. So if you hit them, you can't take damage from, like, walking into them, but they can still hit you. Going on the enemy, you will not take damage from smacking into them, which is, you know, kind of a 2D action game. So it's not a 2D action game. 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 Hey, man, please stop talking Japanese. I don't know it. Yeah, I know how I know what high speed action game would mean. Yeah, so and that's one of the things that the Gunbolt team was really thinking about when they were designing. You know, this character looks pretty fun, like really fast paced, right? You know, for those of you who are familiar with Gunbolt, or as you can even probably tell just by looking at the game, Gunbolt's a very fast paced to the action game. And, you know, we want the players to go really fast. And, you know, if you're zipping... One of my favorite things about Gunbolt Burst was that um, it had tons of different characters. And every single one was different. Like, there was a character, I don't remember her name. She was basically just Zero from, uh, you know, Mega Man. But her whole gimmick was that uh, she would lifesteal whenever she used her sword. And she was constantly draining health. So you had to get up in everything's face and start hitting it, or else you would die. I think that's a really cool mechanic. Enemies will take more damage when they're under the effect of the talisman, so you really, really, really want to make use of Keating's talisman when you're off these baddies, because it makes a world of difference. Absolute world of difference. Oh, 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 like any game that lets me use the um oh my god my mind is blanking on everything right now the kibeli is a good game is the perfect remedy for a 2 a.m live stream wouldn't you say i think it is i think it is okay let's go get to the juicy part what's this man boss time it's boss time <laughs> we pull, you know, this is a gunboat game, of course. We pull no punches with these boss fights. Oh, I, I love this motif, that's the, the Grim Reaper fight. This dude's gonna die. So, so as uh, I mean, I was saying, this is actually the first, the very first boss we designed. It's the first battle first director boss? playing it. This guy's a con man too. Hi. Yes. Ah, in the game of the game, the GV series is the same as Kagero, the Tekno Boy, who is the one 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 who is the is actually probably tougher than maybe than your experience may be in the actual game. For those of you who have played any Gunvolt game, Gunvolt 1, Gunvolt 2, Gunvolt Chronicles, don't matter. But you know that the characters have what's called the um, Pervasion ability, which is the, you know, the, the, it basically it's the ability that allows them to avoid damage. And uh, as you can see here, Keenan right now does not have that, so she's taking all the hits right on the face. But Oh, so it's just like the game's not finished, so there's some mechanics which will make this fight easier in there, which aren't in there yet. Uh, this guy also just sucks, admittedly. This is kind of like he's basically playing in hard mode. Hard mode, Hit him with the talisman, idiot, dude! What are you doing? Oh my god! Yeah, it's an hour long, so I'm gonna end up. 
like doing something else. What's this? Oh, they're gonna show some zero three gameplay. I'll look at this. Gunvolt zero or er, Gunvolt zero. Gunvolt three looks good. I have uh, Blaster Master yeah, so Zero Three you, will yo, probably Blaster be good. Zero Three is still very much in the middle of development, so this is just kind of a like a snippet, a snippet of a of what the experience is gonna be. Epic Games and Steam. Did I miss something? I thought Epic was very much like if you want to be on our platform, you have to be exclusive to us. Indie's not like a massive company. Well, they're not small either. Yeah, so, um, as as you may have seen in from some of the materials we put out, Blaster Master Zero Three actually kind of takes place where the Blaster Master Zero and just kind of Blaster Master story all began on the planet Sophia. So Jason has traveled to the planet Sophia, and on this stage you're kind of in the middle of a giant city in like a dome. It's basically a giant dome city, which is where you find ourselves right now. Like, yeah. Hi. Yeah, so we got so for those of you who are experienced Blaster Master Zero players, you may have noticed that in the in the top there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go set up Astro Chain, because nothing's gonna happen here. <laughs> 